Hi, my name's Greg, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a remote database, restore a remote database, and also sync a remote database. First off, we want to start on the on the server where your active database is held. This is where we'll be creating the remote database from. Simply open Act, go to Tools, Synchronize Database, and Synchronization Panel. From here we can create a remote database. If this option is greyed out, it will be because you haven't got a, a sync set. To do that, to create a, a sync set, you just go into Manage Sync Set. We already have one called All. You'd create a new one. We'll just call it All Contacts. Select which users for that remote database. Usually you'd have it as just all users so anyone could log into it if needs be. Now majority of the time you'd want to synchronize all available contacts. If not you could define a sync set criteria so that someone could only view uh, a handful of groups for example in their remote database. But for now we'll stick with all available contacts. And that's our sync set created and press home now you can create a remote database select the number of databases you'd like to create normally this will just be one but it can be up to 50 give your remote database a name it has to be a unique name so you can't use a name that's been used on a previous remote database so we'll call it DMC test new then select where you'd like to output this remote database to so we'll just put it onto the desktop on this server machine we'll use the all contact sync set that we've just created and the default is to synchronize supplemental files which is dashboards, layouts, queries, reports and templates we'd normally leave that ticked and allow synchronize, synchronization of uh, attachments as well here we'd normally change the default value is 30 till you get prompted to be reminded to um, synchronize we usually change that to 90 if you change it to more than 90 you'll get an error message saying that your performance may degrade if you wait that long to synchronize so we'd recommend synchronizing within 90 days we'd like to use a network inside a firewall and this is the machine name of the server we're on at the moment And then the default port to be synced to is 65100, which we just recommend leaving. Just hit next here. You can choose to password protect this remote if you'd like. And that's the remote, remote database now being created. It won't take very long on this machine because it's just a small demo database that we're creating a remote for. If you've got quite a large database and you're synchronizing all contacts, be aware it could take quite a while to, to create this. Once it's finished, you'll see if it's successful and it says status is done. We can come out of here go to our desktop where we saved the remote database to and you can see this is our remote database now you'll need a way to get this remote database from your server 
onto the client machine where you'd like to restore this remote database. You can either put it on a memory stick or if, the, if it's attached to the network you can put it in a network location where the client machine can see it. In this case I'm just going to copy it across and I'll paste this on the client machine. Now we have the remote database on the client machine ready to be restored. To do that we'll just open ACT use the file menu and select restore and database then we want the bottom option unpack and restore remote database then we'll need to navigate to the remote database so we'll click browse this is the database that we've created And then it will re it will restore it onto this machine. Into the, this is the default location. You can change that if you wish, but we'll just leave it as this for now. And that's the remote successfully restored here now. It asks you if you'd like to remove the remote database file because you can't restore that on any any other machines anymore. Once it's been restored once, it's a one one use only. So you can just remove that. The first time you open it, it will ask you if you'd like to synchronize with the main database, which we'd recommend that you do just to make sure that it's set up correctly. But if you need to know how to get there without using this window, it's in the tools menu and it's just synchronize database and synchronize now. Now will bring up this synchronization window where you'll get some progress bars. The first synchronization you do should be fairly quickly because there isn't much to synchronize. If you left this a few weeks and lots of data was modified in your database and then you tried to synchronize, you might find this takes quite a long time. Eventually it will say done and we can close that. Database is successfully synchronized. You can also go into tools synchronize database and synchronization panel and this lets you manage your connection information you could also put the IP address of your server machine in here if you found you having problems the IP address or the machine name is what you need to put in here that's the remote successfully restored and able to synchronize.